Check out how I made this sculpted cake that looks like an apple and I painted it in 24 karat gold. This is my cute little board and I will cut a hole in the very center of it with my X-Acto blade so that I can eventually glue a dowel, a wooden dowel, into the center of my board. This is going to be a very small cake, so this is pretty much all the support that it needs. I bought a six inch styrofoam semi-dome and I carved the sides of it to look like an apple. I also cut the very bottom off so that it sits flat on the board. And very important, glue it with hot glue to the board. Now I'm gluing a six inch round circle to the top because I don't want my cake touching the styrofoam. That's just yucky. I put a smoothie straw over the dowel just because my dowel was all full of glue and I did not find that, I did not think that was going to be tasty. So now it is the time to start building the cake on top of my structure, which is very sturdy now. I want to talk a little bit about the styrofoam part. You have to be so, so careful because the last thing anyone wants is to be eating little pieces of styrofoam. So what I did to prevent that is that I applied a layer of piping gel to the styrofoam part. So that would glue all of those loose little pieces of particles of styrofoam. Then I was very, very careful when covering my cake in buttercream. The board helps out, but you have to be very careful. So what I did is that I covered the very top part first and then the part where it meets the styrofoam, I was very careful to always start from the top and end in the bottom, never the opposite way because we don't want to carry any of those particles from the bottom up to the edible part. And every time that my spatula went over the styrofoam part on the bottom, I washed it before continuing to apply more buttercream. Make sure that the cake is nice and cold so that this part is easier. So the apples have almost like four indentations on, on the top and that's what I'm carving out right now. And of course the center is also, is also indented and that's where the stem comes out from. I let the cake chill in the refrigerator for a while and now I am ready to cover it up in some fondant. So I rolled a nice thin, big piece of white fondant and I'm gonna cover it being very careful not to let it rip. I find that cakes that are much smaller on the bottom than on the top are harder to cover. So it took a little extra work to get rid of all those creases. And now it is time to work on the stem. I made this leaf. So I am using a rose leaf cutter to cut a nice big leaf for my apple. And I have this really nice texture impression mat.
and I'm just making this white just like the rest of the cake and I'm gonna allow this to dry for many hours until it's nice and dry. And the stem, it's just a piece of gum paste that I rolled out thicker on the top, thinner on the bottom. And then I'm gonna thread my leaf, the wire of the leaf, into the stem. Now I'm just gonna set these aside so that they have time to dry. All right, now the fun part. Let's paint this apple gold. I am doing this in two parts. The first part is that I have my gold sheen from a Mary Color and I'm going to airbrush several layers of this onto my cake. I actually let the cake dry in between each layer because if I keep working it, it's gonna start dripping and bubbling and that's not gonna look very pretty. Once it's dry, now I take my 24 karat gold dust and I'm gonna paint the whole thing. It really makes a difference when I do these two steps. That's my trick to the golden, perfect golden color. So there you guys now know my secret. And now I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the stem and the leaf. The thing about this here is that once I applied a lot of airbrush onto the leaf, it became really soft again. So I had to let it dry for a few hours before I placed it on the cake. And that's that. The apple is golden. And it's 24 karat gold. Okay, that's it. I love the way this little cake came out. It is perfect. It is a really nice size. It serves about six to eight people and it just looks so good. I don't even know if anybody would like to cut into it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week's video. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up and share my video. Thanks, bye.